Hello and welcome to another Lightstep Incident Response video overview. My name is Darius Kumari and I'm a product manager here on the team. And today I want to tell you about the profile management feature. When you're logged into the desktop version of the Lightstep Incident Response product, you'll be able to come to the upper right, find your profile and navigate to the My Profile section. Keep in mind that the information that you're landing on here on the info section of your profile is also viewable by other users. What that means is when you're searching for users in the system here by going to the user section, you'll also be able to find the same profile details about other users. And that's really useful in identifying things like what the user's role is at the organization, what the local time is for them in case you're working with an international team, if they're on call currently or not, i.e. are they online and accessible or are they probably not going to pick up the phone. And importantly, how to contact them if you do need to get hold of them for help diagnosing or remediating an issue. Off to the left here, I'll also get details on the user, what they do here, kind of like a bio description, their role in the incident response system, and any tags. Now, since this is my own profile I'm looking at, I'll be able to go ahead and edit the details. So I can change the avatar, upload my own custom image or select from one of these defaults. And I'll also be able to update the details such as my name, my title, and we want to update those so they provide value to other users and organization so they know what I do, what I can help with and so on. So I can make those changes. I can add uh, tags, for example, maybe I'm skilled at networking. I'm also in PM. I'll add those in here and I'll add a more descriptive detail, right? So I could say, I lead networking products and services in North America here. And so that'll help my users to understand in greater detail when they land on my profile, am I the right person to help them uh, or not? Now, the other thing I'll highlight is that when you go to edit your profile, you can change, you know, or add or remove your phone information. But at a minimum, your email will be kept in the system as that's also used, you know, for your login as your primary login ID um, that is by default set in the system. Now, in addition to your info and your core information that you have here, you also have your notification preferences. So notification preferences are individual user settings for how you receive different types of notifications that Lightstep Incident Response sends out. So for example, your P2 acknowledgement notifications, this is when a P2 alert comes in, where does that acknowledgement go to say, can you acknowledge yes, no? Well, I'm gonna send it in this case to push, as well as I'll send myself a text message. Um, and I could decide, you know, maybe for P3 and P4, I don't wanna receive a text message, right? I want it to be a little lower touch. So I can make those changes dynamically here from this interface. Now for areas like incident and alert information where I might have a couple additional notifications, alert assigned to me, incident assigned to me, incident assigned to my team, maybe I think when it's assigned to my team, it's a bit too much information for me. Well, you can also unsubscribe from a notification by just toggling it off here. And so a lot of control on the form factor on where you receive your notifications or your acknowledgement on-call notifications, and whether you want to enable or disable those more general informational notifications because you think they provide value or not. In addition to the control that you as an individual have on your notification preferences, you also have your own on-call schedule. So your on-call schedule that you see here shows you if you're on multiple teams, all your shifts across all your teams. So I could see I'm on the payment team, I'm on the cloud ops team, I could see how long those shifts go. Oh my gosh, I'm on the database team too on Saturday, you know, tomorrow. It highlights here what my current day is. And I also know immediately my time zone. I'm looking at this in PST, you know, America, Los Angeles time. I can schedule time off from here, which is very important in creating gaps. And that way my manager for the given teams knows they need to create coverage, find a backfill because they want persistent on-call coverage. But what I can also do is I can actually take this calendar and via the subscription URL or via downloading an ICS file, I can import it into my mail system. In my case, I use Outlook 
And that way I can actually just use Outlook as that source of truth to see, oh, there's my on-call shifts. It's, it's easier to plan uh, by keeping me in that core central calendaring system that I'm used to. Now, in addition to managing your on-call schedule here and clicking in, being able to create time off, or maybe you, you know, you're swapping with one of your teammates and so you're gonna create a coverage record, that's all possible on your own on-call schedule. So a lot of control over your schedule, your timing, and making sure you're providing accurate information and coverage for your teams. The last area is settings. Now, these settings will be more basic, but they allow you to change the time zone. Uh, they allow you to set multi-factor authentication and do things like if you're changing time zones a lot, you're traveling, you could have the system automatically update your time zone when it detects those changes. So a lot of benefit and a lot of value found here on the profile to give you the ability to set your information, your notification preferences, your on-call schedule information, but also importantly to give other users details into who you are and what you can do for the organization. I hope this video helped and you understand more on what the profiles use, the kind of information you find. As always, if you have questions, drop them in the comments below or uh, let us know what you'd like to see as an enhancement to the feature or a video you'd like us to cover next. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.